Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are going to the next track set, the Star Cup, and I'm going to choose something. Yeah, I'll use another bike this time. I'll kind of alternate between them as I go, I think. So let's go to the Star Cup, probably my favorite cup of the entire game, in my opinion. There's just a lot of really creative tracks and crazy track layouts in this area. This first track is probably the most boring track of the entire track set, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, it's got this beautiful sunset going on, and we've got Mario on a bike. What more could you ask for? He is riding wild. He is riding free on his hog, and through the streets of... What is this? Delfino Plaza or something like this? This couldn't be Delfino Plaza. Anyway, there's a shortcut in here. Like that. If you have a mushroom boost, I just thought I would show that off right away. And I did have a mushroom boost, didn't I? I wasn't paying attention to it whatsoever. <laughs> Curses! Um, these cones, they don't slow you down at, at all. But it seems like you can just bump right through them. So it's pretty fun to just like... Blink! As you go around the corners like that. If you can get hit multiple ones in a row. Um, take this corner nice and tight, like so. There we go. Bike off the edge of the ledge. That was a poet and didn't know it. And there we go. Oh, 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 no off-roading. No off-roading. <laughs> I'm taking the corners a little bit too tight. That's my fault. This time I'm going to go around the... Uh-oh, blue shell. I'm going to go around the fountains this way. The fountains are like a figure eight, but in reality, you want to choose one side or the other to save time. You doing the figure eight will take you a lot more time than it's worth, that's for certain. What the heck happened there? <laughs> well, I did notice that the cones do seem to bug you when you're going at a slow speed, but if you're going at a high speed, you just bump them right out of the way. And it's bye bye And why did I... I don't know why I jumped off there so early. That was my fault. <laughs> anyway, here we go. And around the corners. And wait, wait. Oh, I was going to shoot that behind me, but it was too late. I already got it knocked right out of my inventory thanks to that Pikachu that's roaming around in the crowd. Ugh. Why does that always happen to me? Actually, it happens to everyone. When someone gets a Thunderbolt, it affects everyone that uh, can be affected by it. Uh, the only way you can avoid it is if you have a star or something like that and you activate it. And there's no way to predict when a Thunderbolt is coming, so you just have to be lucky that you're using a star at the same time that a Thunderbolt comes, which is... which happens next to never, basically, and that was a horrible race. <laughs> Oh well, fifth place. Maybe I'll be able to catch up and get up to first place later on. I'm not sure. We're just going to have to see as we go. So here we go. Second race and things are becoming awesome at Koopa Cape. Let's get this started. And I just wanted to check the camera there for a second there because I, I didn't notice if I was recording or not. I didn't see the numbers at the way that I have the, the screen tilted there, and yeah, you get the idea. Whatever, I just wanted to make sure I was actually recording, because that would have sucked. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely got both things recording. Don't worry! Well, you're not going to be worried, because you're going to see that this part is up, and everything is PG keen all together, and yeah. <laughs> so there's really no need for me to mention that whatsoever. And in this area, you, you actually want to stay in the water. The water makes you go faster for whatever reason. That's usually a taboo thing in Mario Kart games. So, I don't know why it actually is a way to give you more speed in this one, but I guess it's a variety, so I can't complain. And we're in the Undersea Passage. I love this so much. Stay, still stay in the water to keep your speed up as much as possible. And avoid the shocking Koopa shells that are floating around there. I don't know how the heck that works. I guess Koopas are part electric type or something like that. Maybe they're like a lantern, water electric types. But anyway, first lap is done. This is probably one of the longest tracks in the game too, but it's just so cool. There's so much variety in this track. I mean, you start out here in this mountainous area, and then you end up in the second area, which is an awesome white water rafting, wow, <laughs> white water rafting type section. Well, it's more just like a river that you right along the bed, well whatever, like this section here, and then you end up freaking underwater through a pipe. They even have the pipe sound effect, which is a very nice touch, I have to say. And keep going, Mario, I believe in you. You are a well-balanced middleweight character, and I'm still doing quite horrible. 
maybe I'm just used to more of the lightweight persona than I am with the middleweight, but as I said, I don't really care all that much. Just go, Mario! I believe that you can win no matter what your weight class. Woo! Um, I never explained the weight classes of this game anyway. In fact, the uh, fastest characters are the heavyweight characters, uh, typically. The balanced ones are the middleweight characters, and the slowest ones are the lightweight characters. However, their strengths come in their acceleration. Like the lightweight characters, they accelerate much faster than middleweight characters and heavyweight characters, so they can get up to speed after taking a hit from some sort of item faster than any other character, which makes them quite ideal for uh, Grand Prix races like this. When it comes to time trials, you want to take a heavyweight character most of the time. Uh, middleweight characters... I don't know, they just seem to be like the black sheep of the bunch. <laughs> like Mario here, sad to say, but it's true. But uh, that's just how the games go. There always seems to be one character set or group that uh, is better than the other. <clears throat> so that's what people choose for each track or each area, just to get the fastest time if they're pro time trialers or something like that. Uh, but yeah, middleweight characters like this, very balanced, but they don't excel in anything, and that's why they're not ideal for time trials or uh, Grand Prix. But I guess they're okay, so to speak. They can still get good times, but not as good as, say, um, a heavyweight character in time trial or lightweight character in uh, Grand Prix like this. But I'm babbling on about the same things for like the past minute or so, aren't I? So let's just... Uh, cancel that all together, or well, cancel that train of thought, excuse me, and go to the awesome legendary Maple Tree Way, which is my favorite track in the game. I mean, just look at this. It's set under a sunset. It's like fall time. This, this track twists around all over the place, and it's got a freaking silly cannon. <laughs> and you go through the trees, and you can also blast through those tree lumps here to get items on occasion. And I took that turn way, way, way too sharp. <laughs> but that's okay. Ow. And this one you can't... Whoa, whoa, don't, don't, don't hold on to this one, Mario. Uh, this is an item known as a thundercloud, I think it's called. Um, if you have it in your possession for too long, it'll give you a thunderbolt-like effect. But while you have it, it speeds you up. But the idea is to pass it on to someone else while... It, like, just before it's gonna be ending off, so you don't, uh, take the effect of the Thunderbolt, but you get the effect of the speed boost, and that was horrible! Curse ass! Boost, Mario! Oh, if you press the acceleration... That was horrible! If you press the acceleration button, as soon as you hit the ground, you'll get a boost just like that. And this is gonna be, like, the worst race ever. Well, then again, I'm just on the first lap, so I might have a chance at catching up. You can also do, uh on these tree you know, roots over here as well. Lightning bolt for the win. This time it was by my accord, not Pikachu. There's a shortcut on that way towards the right there. I forgot to mention on the first lap, but only if you have a mushroom, and then you'll come out this way here. See that um, fence off to the left side just before the cannon? That's where you come out, and you just gotta turn left to get inside the cannon. Bullet bill for the win! Now I haven't seen any other characters in like freaking ages, so how the heck far back am I anyway? Is running out. Okay. Tenth place, ninth place, we're catching up. We are golden and we are out of bones once again because I completely jumped over those dang boost panels on the ground here. Whoa! Awesome sauce! <laughs> How the heck does that work? You would think you would fly right off the edge, but that's not the case. It's just another case of game logic that we have to accept no matter what, otherwise the universe will implode. So that is what I must believe to save the universe, and Blue Shell's going way past me. Final lap, here we go! Seventh place, not very good on my favorite track. I was hoping to perform a little bit better than hitting a red shell, but alas, that is not to be, unfortunately. And I'm not even going to be able to make use of this uh, super mushroom here, because it's going to run out on these tight corners when I can't use it. Mushrooms are only good on straightaways most of the time, so yeah. Power block, power block, power block! Yeah! And I can use my bike boosting powers to get a little bit more leeway on some of these characters, maybe. But it's doubtful. Somehow I got seventh place there. I think that other character went off the bridge or something like that. Whatever the heck happened over there, I don't know. <laughs> whatever it is, or whatever it was, it was a failure on the computer's part. And no, 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 no! 
stay in bounds. And there's also a pathway over to the right over here. Car says, I'm not sure if this is really faster than the normal path though. I don't think it is. I'm just taking it for the heck of it. Sixth place. Oh no. oh no, indeed. I'm still in third place. How is that possible? Well, whatever. <laughs> I gotta start picking up my game here, man. Gotta start picking it up. Grumble Volcano, another one of my favorite tracks. This track actually crumbles away and gets narrower as you go through the laps. A very, very cool and clever concept. You'll see as I go through the track. And there's also a lot of jumps here, like this one. And see where this crack is on the ground here? That will be gone, or that portion of the land will be gone by lap two, I think and other portions will be going by lap 3, like that, or other crack part on the right. Well, you'll see what I mean. There's a split path here. Take whichever one that you want. I'm just going to take this one for the heck of it. I don't think either of them are faster than the other one. At least it just doesn't seem like it to me. That's just in my experience. Uh, some time trialer or pro time trialer will be like, Hey, PK Gam, you gave us wrong information. You're supposed to take this path. I demand that you add an annotation to say that you should be taking this path as opposed to other paths because you are the walkthrough guy and then they will be foaming at the mouth with anger and then I will be laughing a little bit to myself but I will add the annotation anyway probably <laughs> well if I remember I'm a pretty forgetful person by nature <laughs> and you'll notice that these pieces are now shaking and they're falling off as I'm going through the track this time I'm gonna take this path but for the heck of it, and ram my face right into the wall, but I'm still doing pretty decent here. And red shell. Oh, come on. Why did you have to hit the banana peel? Oh, why do you gotta be like that, homie? Why do you gotta be like that? Banana Whoa, meteors flying from the heavens. Well, they're more like lava rocks coming from the volcanoes erupting in the background. I'm gonna take the right path this time, avoid the fire snakes of death, and I can't avoid the thunderbolt of death, unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to make do with what I can since everyone, everyone else got hit by the Thunderbolt as well. Eat my green shell all! <laughs> Woo! And the last lap should be pretty much everything crumbled off now. So hopefully I won't get bumped into the lava or the lava pillars of death. Eee! Safe! Oh, I was a little bit too late on my timing there, wasn't I? Well, that's okay. How did I go in between those two item boxes? What are the chances of that happening? Those things are tight, too. Uh, anyway, let's just go and hopefully finish this track successfully. Oh, man, I am doing horrible on my favorite tracks in the game, aren't I? This is terrible, I have to say. It's a disaster. A horrendous tragedy. I'm being attacked by everything and everything that can possibly hit me, and I'm screwing up in any possible way I can, and look at that mushroom boost! Go mushroom boost! Go mushroom boost! Yeah! Third place! <laughs> I think I'm gonna end up in third place overall anyway. Yeah, yep, that looks to be the case. I think I'm getting worse and worse each cup. <laughs> well, that's it for the Star Cup. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next part when I do the Special Cup. Oh, it's bronze this time. <sighs> no silver, no gold. Makes me sad. Toodaloo.